secret side of me I never let you see I keep a cage but I can't control it But one of the biggest things I think is knowing what you truly need and when you truly need to get it when you get that figured out that's another piece of the puzzle that will just add to success under the bed in my body and my head why won't somebody come and save me from this make it in i feel it deep within video number three last time i talked about um patience persistence uh and, and organizing your plan of action going to every business or you know every targeted audience in your community uh, meetings networking like you got to put in the leg work guys you gotta you gotta work you gotta plan it it's the big thing man plan um, second thing I want to talk about and I think it's equally just as important <coughs> if you're if you're building the business on your own with zero help um, you're going to have to have a financial institution to back you you will and it's tough uh, I would start immediately um, when I first started my first business in 2009 I went to a bank I had I had a truck um, that was a it was a 07 f-150 um, and I had it paid off I went to the bank and I took out twenty thousand dollars to buy a whole bunch of stuff that I needed for this business and um, I started developing a relationship in 2009 in 2016 uh, I was still begging for twenty five thousand uh, dollars from these from these banks but bottom line was I still got it because I went to the same banker the same bank everything was the same and I started the relationship in 2009 I could walk into the bank now ask for money a couple signatures on the paper and I get it and whenever you don't have co-signers or somebody that can put up equity and I mean when it all falls on your shoulder you have to start small one thing I suggest if you haven't done it tomorrow wake up go to the bank ask for a $2,000 loan tell them I own a business started a business I need $2,000 for whatever reason um, put up your car as equity or put up whatever don't go to signature loans nothing like that go to a bank a small one no chase no capital one go to a, a local bank and start developing a relationship with that bank when you have a financial institution behind you and you have the proper plans of actions you're now on the right track a little later on comes deals finding the right deals for the right equipment um, you know 90% of the things I buy I buy at a cut rate deal and whether I need them that day or not I buy them because I know my business needs it so you know persistence patience plans of actions financial institutions and deals we'll talk about deals later